guys, what's up? My name is Dee and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Costco Canada haul. In today's haul, I got a lot of weekly staples. I had to stock up on some things that I ran out of as well. And you already know, every time I go into Costco, I always walk out with something that wasn't at all on the list. And I got, I think, three things this time, which isn't too bad. That was not at all on my list, but I needed to get them. So I got them. grocery items first and then I'm going to share the other stuff towards the end of the video. If you're new, I'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my Costco videos and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any videos coming up next. I post a ton of Costco videos every single week and I always share my haul with you guys. I love doing it and I love that you guys love watching it. So I got a big bag of Doritos because we were out of chips for a while and I figured why not just treat my girls and the entire family actually to a bag of Doritos? We love these. On to a healthier cake. I got more of my dill pickle salad kit. I love this thing. Next up, I got a bag of broccoli. It's just much easier on me as a busy mom and a creator to buy broccoli that's already like done up for me. All I gotta do is just rinse it and cook it and we're good to go. Next up, I grabbed some organic spinach. I like to put this in my smoothies and I also like to cook it up. The whole family likes spinach, so this is a staple. Next, I got a big bag of carrots. This is so my husband can make us some carrot juice. The only thing I'm missing is some ginger. I need to get some ginger and then he'll be able to make us some carrot juice. This was actually on a lower price this time for $5.99. Normally it's around like $8.99. So now's a good time to buy a big bag of carrots if you like eating carrots or juicing them. I also went ahead and picked up some organic carrots for my girls. These are the baby carrots. I like them too and these are just great to snack on. They're so easy to toss in lunches for school and it's two bags so none ever goes to waste in our house and I always feel good whenever we have baby carrots because it's just something I don't have to think about and it's something that doesn't need any prep work and everyone can just munch on them. I also went ahead and picked up more bread for the girls. I also picked up a huge bag of clementines. I feel like Costco always has the sweetest clementines. I also went ahead and picked up some red grapes. These will last a day in our house. I also picked up one bunch of organic bananas. Next up, I got some of the Stone Fire Nan. Uh, the kids have been asking for this for quite some time now, and I am determined to make sure that this doesn't go to waste. So this will be a staple in their lunches in the upcoming weeks, and also this is probably gonna be a staple for me because I went and bought hummus. I never can finish the hummus when I get it from Costco, but I did pick it up because I got the naan bread, I got the carrots, and I am determined to not let any of these packages go to waste. I feel like I'm always good with the first one and the second one is what I struggle with, but this time I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win this battle with the hummus and I might keep you guys updated on it or not. You know, if you never see hummus in the next couple months in my haul, it's because I didn't finish it and I'm struggling. So wish me luck that I actually finished this. And actually, I wanna know when you guys buy hummus, do you always finish it or do you have a hard time finishing it as well? Comment to let me know. I know I can't be alone on this one and I know you guys are always here to support me and cheer me on. So let me know if you struggle with finishing your hummus too. Next up, we got more of our Activia yogurt. Last time I got the drinkable yogurts for the girls and I'm just gonna rotate between this and the drinkable one. Holy creamer. Look at this big thing of Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer. I hope I can go through this, but I was out of creamer and I love caramel macchiato, especially from Starbucks. So my coffee game is about to be on point with this. And if you guys ever bought this before from Costco, let me know if you finished it or if some of it went to waste. I'm determined to get through this and I'm sure I will. I mean, this just means I have to drink coffee and I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> this time I went ahead and picked up the girls some cheese string. We haven't had this for a couple months now, I feel. And again, this is just something quick and easy to toss in their lunch bag. And these are actually really good. I like to eat them too sometimes. I also went ahead and picked up some cheese gnocchi. Two packs come in here. This is on sale, so I decided 
I picked it up a long time ago when Costco used to do samples. That's when I tried this for the first time. And they pretty much just like pan fried it and some butter and that was it. And that's what I plan to do. I plan to make this as like a nice lunch for me one of these days. It's like a treat. Maybe I'll have it with a side of salad. I don't know. But if you guys try this, let me know. I love this stuff, you guys. It's so good. All right, you guys. So if you've been following me for a while and watching my videos for a while, you know in my normal grocery hauls that I post every now and then, I'm always buying orange juice. I kid you not, I buy orange juice once a week, every single week, and I'm tired of buying orange juice every week. So I went ahead and picked up this four pack of the Tropicana orange juice from Costco, and I'm just hoping that, you know, we don't finish this all. <laughs> I'm hoping this lasts like two, three weeks, because that would be really nice. Next up, I grabbed a bag of the Kirkland frozen strawberries. I gotta get these in the freezer because it's already starting to defrost and it's gonna defrost into one giant ball if I don't get this in there as soon as I can. This time I got some ground turkey. I don't think I've purchased ground turkey in over like five years. I know it's been a long time, but I wanted to pick up some ground turkey because I wanted to make some quick dinners and I know ground turkey is just a great protein, a lean protein that I can add in there and it doesn't really have any flavor really. So any flavor that I add to it is just gonna be good. And I'll keep you guys posted on what the family thinks of this too because I'm hoping that they like it or that they don't notice that it's not like anything that they haven't had before because this, this I'm hoping is gonna save my life. And I purposely got this instead of ground beef because it already comes separated. And to be honest, I didn't feel like separating meat today. So I purposely bought this so I wouldn't have to do any work. All I had to do was just toss this in the freezer, which I'm gonna do really soon. So I also went ahead and picked up more of the Kirkland frozen pizza. This is the cheese one, we absolutely love it. I also went ahead and got the pepperoni one. Here is the pepperoni one. I know this is a lot of pizza, but we've been ordering pizza for the past couple of weeks and it's really crushing my pockets. <laughs> I feel like this is just so much more affordable and honestly, the pizza is so good. I've never looked back. This is the best frozen pizza in the history of frozen pizzas, in my opinion. And funny story about this, when I was in Costco today getting all this stuff, I ran into a new subscriber. I'm so sorry, I forgot what your name is. I'm horrible with names, but I'm working on getting better. But she was asking uh, what kind of pizza I recommend, and I recommended this cheese one. And I'm hoping that you end up watching this video and you comment and let me know what your family thought of it because we love the Costco pizza and, you know, honestly, it's just so good but I wanted to give you a shout out also for just talking with me today in the store it was so nice to finally meet a subscriber face to face you didn't know anything about my channel before and now you're like here to support me and talk all things Costco so I appreciate you it was so nice to meet you please let me know if you like the pizza because I'm pretty sure your family is gonna love it by the way, my day was totally made meeting someone and talking all things Costco today. That is like my happy place. I love talking Costco with other Costco lovers. It's just the best thing ever. Next up, I went ahead and grabbed some of these beef wontons. Now, Dulcy, one of my lovely subscribers, recommended that I try this. And also, I believe Jess also recommended that I should try this. So I bought it, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know if I like it. I'm sure that I will. I love Korean barbecue style stuff and this is like Korean flavored beef. It's king size, whoa, king size pot stickers. Okay, these are probably gonna be really big and I'm so excited to have this. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated on if I like this or not. And thank you again for your recommendations. Every time you guys recommend something for me to try, I take note of it and I do end up eventually giving it a try. And more times than not, I end up loving your recommendations, which is great because I feel like we're kind of just feeding off of each other. So the last and final food item I got is some rainbow trout. I hadn't bought this in a while and we needed some more fish. So this is what I got. It's much cheaper than salmon, but it's kind of like almost the same thing in a sense. So yeah, I got some rainbow trout for quick and easy dinners. All right, so now we're moving into the juicy stuff, the stuff that wasn't really on my list, but you know, it just sort of happened. You guys, I got candles. I got candles. I got a three pack. This was on sale for $14.97. I know I shared this before in one of my previous Costco Shop With Me videos, and I told you guys that 
I'm thinking of getting it. If it's there, I want to go back another time. It was on sale this time, so I, I had to. I mean, three candles for $15. That's way cheaper than Bath & Body Works. And these smell so good. I cannot wait to light one of these up. And I also love that it comes in like a concrete little candle thing. I just, I, I love this. I love everything about it. And I can't wait to use it as decor and to burn it. And I don't know. I love candles. <laughs> I've been looking for kids mitts for the longest. I believe since August, I've been looking for kids mitts. Now we're going into October and I finally found them. Now they don't have a lot left, of course, but I went ahead and got two of the size medium, I believe. This is between size six to 10 or six years to 10 years. I got these for the girls because these mitts are the best mitts ever. They never rip, nothing bad ever happens. The kids' hands are always warm in there, so. Yeah, I went ahead and picked up two of these for the girls. Now all I gotta do is find them a nice winter hat and they'll be all set for winter, finally. Next up, I went ahead and picked up more of our elderberry gummies. Now this is my first time buying it at Costco. I normally buy it on Amazon and they just deliver it to my house, of course. But Costco has the best price like hands down because you get 120 gummies which is double the size of what I was getting on Amazon and these are on sale right now for I believe $19.99 so it's just I got two because the whole family has this this is great for keeping you healthy and just boosting your immune system especially during cold and flu season which is like right now and the season's changing and all that so this is great. We were actually completely out, so I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on these, especially while they're on a sale, and I believe they're going to be on sale for a couple more weeks. So you guys should definitely run in and get it, because even without the sale price, it's still the best price ever. And while we're here talking about vitamins, I also got more vitamins for myself and my husband and also the kids. So we like the Kirkland Signature stuff. You guys know this. We love Kirkland Signature, so we got the adult. Kirkland Signature Multivitamins, and then we also got the Children's Multivitamins. We like gummies. <laughs> Clearly, we're a gummy family, and we were actually out of all vitamins in the house, so this was a big chunk of my total today was just vitamins, but health and wellness is super important, and I'm willing to up the budget so that we can get all the things we need to stay healthy. The last and final item is some CeraVe Lotion Moisturizer for the kids. This is what I love to use for them, this and Cetaphil, and this stuff is so thick, perfect for kids who have like eczema prone skin, especially with the seasons changing, you can get a lot of flare ups and reactions and stuff like that. So using a lotion like this helps to make sure that they stay moisturized for a very long time. And I just love getting this at Costco because again, it's cheaper than buying it on Amazon. It's cheaper than using a coupon when you go to Walmart. It's cheaper anywhere, honestly. This is the best price. Plus they gave me this free little tube one and now I think I have like three or four of those tubes which are great for putting in my purse or if we're ever gonna travel, we can definitely use it for that as well. All right, so that's it. That's everything I got this time at Costco. And for once, I feel like the price was fair, especially considering how many vitamins and supplements I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and also turn on your notifications if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.